Hi planner babes! Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly Hankins and I'm in Birch Tree, Missouri and I have been a planner for a long time but I'll get into that more in a minute. First off I want to thank Alyssa Nalani for doing an open tag. There's been a lot of videos going around about um, what we have in our planners, how we use our planners, favorite tools, and it's a planner tag. And Alyssa was kind enough to just open hers up to people who were not necessarily active in the planner community because she tagged everybody had just, just about been tagged. So thanks Alyssa for letting me jump in. I will tell you, this is my first face on camera video. So, so far I'm not too bad about it, but we'll see. I'd love to have your comments down below. Um, the planner tag was about what we have in our, in our planners, how we use them with specific guided questions. And it was started by Southern Tea Time and Crystal Clear Ideas. And I'll have links to their channels as well as Alyssa's down below in the box. Um, first question was, what bag do you carry your planner in? Well, my planner technically is not an on-the-go planner. I work several jobs and I work them all from home. But I have taken to going out on Saturdays and holding up somewhere and doing my weekly planning. So when I do that, ugh, reach down below. I've been taking my new um, supply bag from Stampin' Up. I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator and that's one of the planners that I use. This thing is really super roomy and lets me put all of my planners in here and whatever I need to take with me to do my weekly planning. So uh, this last week I went and holed up at Ruby Tuesdays and enjoyed a salad and Fredo chicken breasts and it was a nice way to just get away from the house and not be distracted by all the things around me. Question number two, how many planners do you actually use at one time? Okay, that's a trick question. I technically only use one at a time and that's my Agenda 52. Now, this is my workhorse, and it's a six ring, and what I do when I go out on my planning is I go through all of my other planners, and I pull in what I need for the week into the workhorse. So while I've got everything forward planned out in the other planners, this is the only one that I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis. Number three, what is your planning routine? Well. Like I said, I take one day a week, I run away from home with my planner stuff, if at all possible, go sit somewhere, enjoy an iced tea, maybe lunch out, just it's a my time day and I can set and I can do all of my planning without having to worry about interruptions from the cats, the dog. <laughs> I don't have kids, but let me tell you, having pets is enough. Question number four, what snacks do you eat during your planning? Well. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. Since I don't snack while I plan here at home, it's lunch out. So I may go to the Chinese buffet and have the Mongolian bar. Um, I may go to Ruby Tuesdays and enjoy their salad bar. I do try to find places where I can go and sit, not be taking up table time. So I go in off periods and enjoy healthy, healthy foods while I'm out and about. When did you start planning and how did you get introduced to the planning community? I have been a planner literally since I was about 12. I've always been an organizer. I've always been a planner. I always needed to know what was coming next, where I needed to be, what I needed to do, what I needed to have on hand. So that's something I've always done. Um, but I got hooked into the planner community about two years ago. Um, I was scanning through YouTube, like we all do, <laughs> and I started seeing these really cool layouts, and I thought, well, I'm not a sticker kind of person when it comes to my planners. I, I'm more functional. Well, <laughs> if you'll check back to my bag video, which I will link down below, you'll see that that has changed just a little bit, too. Um, so I've been really blessed to learn from some really awesome women in the planning community. Um, I started watching the goal planning series from Paper and Pen Girl last night. Fabulous stuff. If you need to really focus in on your goals, I recommend going back and checking out her videos. I'll link her down below. Um, life before planning, productive or not? Nah. Well, since I've been planning since the beginning, since about 12, I'd say very productive. However, 
It's when I don't plan or I plan and then I don't go back and look at my planner that I'm not so good. So I'm really focusing on sticking to paying attention to my daily page in my workhorse every day and staying on track. What is your layout preference? I, I, it depends. I've always been a day on one page. Years ago when I was running my undercover wear business, I did day on two pages and I've narrowed it down to a, to one that I have personally designed for a day on a page. I just need to see today. Tomorrow will come. Friday may be here. I just need to see today. So I'm a day on one page for my workhorse. Now things like my garden planner, my Stampin' Up! planner where I'm breaking them down into the individual businesses or what I call files or, or forward plannings, then some of those I do prefer the week on two pages. Do you prefer sticker kits or create your own spread? I create my own most of the time. It's either that or I'm using the, the Happy Planner sticker books, which I've just started using. But if there's specific things that I need, and I'll show you a couple of those in my sticker and my planner video coming up later in the week. I simply go into Avery labels and I determine what size sticker I want. If I want a one inch square, one by one inch square, or I need a two inch circle or whatever. And they have tons of graphics or I can up upload my own and create my own stickers that way. And I've been doing that a lot too. What is the most you have spent at a store for planner supplies? Well, I'm not going to count Hobby Lobby because I'm really good at controlling my spending when I'm in there. I know what I have when I go in. However, last year my husband got new tires for my car and it came with a rebate. So a couple of months ago I had a $79 rebate card and I thought, well, I'll just check out Happy Planner. I've not been to their site before and I blew it. The entire $79 went to Happy Planner, but I got the Min Miss Maker Mini to track all of my crafting challenges, my card making and paper crafting challenges, which I really love the Mini Miss Maker. So I've got that one. So, so I'd say around 80 bucks was about the most I've ever spent. And with that, a funny story. Years ago, when I first got into scrapbooking and stamping, I went on a bus trip. And it was just a 24 hour thing where we hit like five scrapbook stores in one day. And at the end of the day, they gave a prize for the person who had spent the most and the person who had spent the least. Over the course of five stores, I spent a total of $24 for the day. <laughs> I spent the least. Do you prefer spiral disc and or journal style? Okay, I'm not a bullet journaler. I, I just, I need something a little bit more explosive than that, I guess. I'm not a minimal, minimalist by any means. As far as whether I use a, a ring or uh, I use a ring, I use a spiral and I use a disc. And again, it depends on the planner that I'm using and what I want to use it for. My Miss Maker is a disc. My Stampin' Up, which is a planner that I got from corporate. It's a ring bound. My Agenda 52 is a ring bound. I've got a, my garden planner is a disc plan. So it just depends on what I'm going to use it for and what I think is going to work best for that particular planner. Favorite planner supply. Okay. Um, I think it was Alyssa that said that her favorite was 32 pound paper. And I have to say mine is too. I have tried using the lower grade general copy paper for various things in my planner and I'm just not happy with the feel of it when I want to create a tip in or a fold out or, or a half page or something. I need that extra weight. I like the feel of it. It's nice and it, it's pettable. It's really soft and I really like the feel of it in my fingers when I'm turning. And if I'm going to be working in my planner on a daily basis, I want to be comfortable with what I'm doing in my planner. Favorite thing to plan. Aside from moving stuff from my forward planning planners into my workhorse, I'd have to say my favorite thing to plan is my music business. I am a music promoter for over 300 artists across the country and so every week I'm detailing where their shows are 
albums that are coming out, um, CD reviews, that kind of thing. And I really love knowing where everybody's at and getting to know everybody in the music business. So I look forward to sitting down and planning out their schedules for the week and seeing who's being where. Funny planner stories. This one is probably the only one that I have. And it happened the other day while I was watching Alyssa's video. I was sitting at the dining room table and I had been going back and forth between the dining room table and my office printing stuff off of Avery, new sticker sheets off of Avery. And I had finished and I sat down to watch Alyssa's video and pretty soon I heard my printer go off. And I looked and the cat had hopped from the desk over to the printer, hit the copy button and scared the bejeebies out of her and she tore off running. and her tail was about two inches in diameter. But it was so funny. I mean, she's so skittish about everything anyway. So when she hit that plan, she hit that print button on that computer and she was gone. Did you know cats can fly? Wild card, what is your favorite planner tool? Okay, I have two. One is my pick tool. It's just a little needle pick point. And the other one, everybody's got one. It's a plain old straight pin. I use this for getting up underneath the stickers. I don't use the tweezers. I just get up underneath of them with the needle tool or the straight pin and it just gets under there really easily. Also, if you pre-print and you're having trouble getting the sticker back off, if you just puncture the back just a little bit, you can get up between the two layers between what you're wanting to keep and between your sticker and the back of the sticker paper. So that's my two favorite tools. Okay, this is the bonus question. Show us your washi. Well, <laughs> my husband has this thing. We go into stores and I always tell him step away from the sunglasses because or, or shoes. I've never had, seen a man so involved with shoes before. So whenever we go into the store and there's washi tape involved, he will calmly say step away from the washi. What I'm about to show you is not all of my washi, but I picked up this two drawer unit at Office Depot and each then I brought it home and I created dividers with foam core each drawer holds approximately 140 rolls of washi tape and they're both full for the most part so um, yeah I showed you my washi show me yours and that's it that's my planner that's my planner tag. It's I've, I've cleared all the questions and I hope I gave you some ideas or gave you some giggles. Um, I look forward to coming back and being more involved in the planner community. There are some excellent women here. If you've not, if you've just watched the videos, make sure you comment and you hit their like buttons and you get to know these gals because they are really super friendly, very open about welcoming you into the community. and sharing what they know so that you can grow as a planner babe too. So I hope you'll come back and join us. Please hit the subscribe button or the like button so that I, or leave a comment. What is your favorite? Now, we're supposed to tag somebody else, but again, most everybody in the planner babe, has, planner babe community has been tagged. So I'm going to follow Alyssa's example. And I'm gonna say, if you would love to do a tag video, Leave a comment down below to let me know you're going to play and make sure you link me up so that I can come, so that the rest of us, not just me, but the rest of the planner babes can come check out your planner supplies. Thanks for joining me today. Have a good day.